These are some things that I've done recently with cut vinyl. And these are this is done on a vinyl cutter, which usually is used in a sign shop. But uh, this one was located in a fab lab in Providence at AS220. And what happens is, is the machine uh, is seen by the computer as a printer. And what it does is it it moves a knife around the edge of the image and traces the whole image with the knife which you can then get a resulting piece of vinyl that has just a, a really thin line cut into it very 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 accurately and what I did was I, I took these images and I weeded them so I have a whole bunch of little bits that are there just as I was working I put them all in the same place for the bigger parts I put them onto this bigger ball which seemed to help keep track of them better and then um, I also noticed that on this red vinyl the knife didn't quite cut all the way through so it didn't it didn't work to weed them properly so these ones won't get weeded but these white ones cut very nicely and these ones are covered with transfer tape and as are these ones over here originally this was designed to be used as um, as this one is here as a circuit board resist and so there are little bridges on parts of the image and not in other parts of the image I thought it would be handy to hold on to some of those um, to hold on to some little squares that would be able to be used as bridges so I have I have something of a collection of these the little squares didn't work out so good but the longer strips what I could do with those is trim those and put them into place and put them on the the image before it gets etched when cutting this basically you just put the sheet of material into the machine and uh, you tell it to print and it cuts a whole sheet of them or it cuts just one of them whichever you've got it set up to do and then put them onto the copper clad board this here is copper clad board here this is double sided it also comes as this one here did as single sided and then you put the board with the sticker onto it into ferric chloride and then the copper in the exposed areas gets removed and um, the copper that's underneath the vinyl stays right there and it's a very very nice resulting image that comes out of it to get the image onto here you need to use this stuff that you see on here it's called transfer tape and it's a really thin not very sticky tape that comes in various widths and the transfer tape allows you to take something that would um, have a lot of a lot of individual parts and keep them so that they're all they all stay the same and they're all in the same relationship to each other and then you stick it onto here and the the vinyl here is more adhesive than the transfer tape is so when you stick it onto a board or onto a piece of glass or onto a piece of plastic or however you're using the vinyl when you stick it onto the thing that you want to put it on you can peel off the uh, transfer tape pretty easily so this um, these are some other circuit boards that I grabbed this is a commercially manufactured circuit board this one came out of a CD drive as did this one here and you see some of the green is a brighter shade of green and some of its darker where it's brighter that's where the copper stays in place and where it's darker that's where the copper has been removed and what this does is it allows the people who design the circuit to be able to control where the electricity goes and to make sure that it gets to the individual components and that kind of thing this over here is a milled circuit board and with this one what happened is this little board was put into a milling machine and then a, um, a 
milling bit uh, was moved around it and it mechanically removed the copper layer. So there's a there's a raised layer that has the copper that's that's higher and then the areas that it is not covered with copper is actually the whole that whole layer is removed. This one here is a circuit board that I made a while ago to be an audio amplifier and it uses the same technique as this one with the um, vinyl being used as a resist and with this one it was set up so that uh, you could put a, an amplifier chip onto it and then you can solder the components right flat onto these little pads that are designed in here. So if you want to try working with vinyl and vinyl cutters you might be able to buy a vinyl cutter anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars or you can see if you can find a local sign shop that will take your image and uh, cut it for you or you can see if there's a uh, space or a fab lab or something where they can cut your image or they can show you how to cut your own image and um, I think the vinyl cutter is a pretty exciting tool and pretty neat and uh, I would encourage you to try it out and see what you can do.